Knight here, welcome back to my France campaign in Empire Total War. We're playing um, with the Darth mod. I do apologise, I've got a bit of a cold today, so uh, my voice is a little bit hoarse. <coughs> I do hope that it doesn't interrupt the uh, or stop your pleasure in the game. We're going to attack Dresden now and destroy this army. I don't know why it's saying, well I do know, the auto resolve is, is broken basically. It's saying we only have a slight advantage, whereas I think we have a, a major advantage here. He's got some decent cavalry, one or two fairly good troops, but the rest are not very good at all, to be honest. Militia. Anyway, let's get on with this. We've got some really good troops. Oh, I just want to explain, I've renamed a unit uh, Mendoza's Guards uh, after Cade Mendoza. Let me know if that isn't the unit you want to rename. You, I think you just said a royal unit, so I've assumed it's this unit. I think we've named this unit a uh, 23rd Guard Deline, I think Ian Scott wanted that, so we've renamed that unit as well. So let's go on with the assault. We've got one piece of artillery, which doesn't seem like very much, but that will um, force the uh, Westphalians into coming towards us and attacking us, so we can take up a defensive uh, battle rather than a, an aggressive battle. Okay, we're going to try and finish off the Westphalians in this episode. We've got to capture this city as well, and then that'll be the end of their, their forces. These are the last two territories, Dresden. I think we took Cologne in the previous episode. Then we can think about reorganising, replenishing, maybe moving on the Hanoverians or the Prussians or the Danes. Or the Swedes, we're certainly going to head north. We're certainly going to head north into. Let's have a look. So we've got a town. I hate towns, to be honest. Unless you're in a defensive position, which I suppose we are. Oh, that's a creepy old wolf. Um, he's got a lot of troops, but they're not. They're not going to cause us too much trouble. I think we're in a bit of a dip here. It's remarkably flat. <laughs> oh, and we've got the town in front of us, so that's going to cause us some problems. We can take up positions on the edge of town, which I think is probably what I'm going to do. We'll keep the artillery to one side, try and defend it quite well. He does have very good cavalry, so we'll put some really good um, some guard units. We'll put them around the artillery, we'll put the artillery in the middle. Hopefully this will encourage the um, Westphalians to come forwards. Okay, let's swing that on the left. He doesn't have any artillery, so we don't need to worry at all. I think I've said that already. We don't need to worry about him shelling us. He'll have to come towards us. Let's fire some cavalry on the other flank. It's not quite so open on the other flank. You can see we've got some buildings and we've got some woodland, so it's not, we don't need quite as much cav to cover any problems that we're going to have. Uh, militia. <clears throat> I think what the militia is going to do, it's going to run, if we can get them to deploy, it's going to run and hide in this building, 251, 300. No, they're not going to run in that building. They maybe take up position just south of that building. We've got the Huron War Party here. They'll melee immediately as soon as you get hold of them. Right, I think maybe we'll put these guys in front and we'll get them to deploy their stakes. We need to form up our line now. Which is going to be, well, almost where it is to be honest. Um, we're going to try and get a bit closer. Actually, that's, that's, it's actually done it pretty well anyway, to be honest. What I want to do is put a unit over here. Just to cover our flank a little bit. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's put the general over here. 
we can probably spread these out a little bit, these guys, they look a little bit tight. Saying that, it doesn't really like deploying there, does it? Okay, let's grab all the artillery. No, it's just don't need fire on them, to be honest. It will do a job anyway, to be honest, it will drag them forwards. anyway to be honest. I'm gonna pull in these lancers. It doesn't look to me as if he's really doing anything that's gonna cause us a problem at the moment. To go over to the artillery. Provincial horse we can probably charge them. is it's to really get them to shatter or even just run away to this is what we need to do. Those guys. Fire on them. Oh god, that didn't really work out. I'm going to get a counter charge in these uh, lances. Okay, the line is good. Okay, let's withdraw the cav. Jump foot. Let's draw these guys on. Hopefully they'll keep chasing the cav in and so we hit some of these guys. This is such a good time. Isn't it? Oof. Wow. These units have fantastic accuracy. Let's continue to retreat. Draw these guys on. Good. Let's have a look back over here. Have we not dealt with those one minutes have we? We haven't. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn these over to normal cavalry and attack. It's only losing slightly, so we're taking quite heavy losses here, so it's charging with those guys. What we're gonna do is feed up our Militia. 
to the port, so they might be able to form square. In fact, what we're going to do, we're going to get those guys to charge into the militia. Right, we've got two regiments into this foot regiment, and use those guys there. Okay, back into the centre. See what's going on over here. Box it some re, we'll get rid of those. Let's bring the square. Let's go look at the fight shooting them in the back. Let's get the militia front and back. They're shaking, I think they'll probably go. Winning, which will bring up this unit as well. Damn, we need to reverse this line. In fact, full square, we can't. Looking down the line, things are pretty much okay. Nothing but white flags everywhere. Chase after some of these guys. I think it's pretty much over, to be honest. Just need to deal with the last few units that are still standing. Let's try and kill the general's bodyguard, maybe. These um, Cheval de Frise. Probably push in from this flank, to be honest, because um, we're fine. We don't have any um, battlefield fortifications on this side. It's really just this unit. Let's see if we can get the artillery to to come forwards and we're going to use the war party against these guys. This is going to be awkward. Got to watch these guys, these chasses of Cheval. We still not finish them off yet. Okay, let's throw these guys in. Three regiments against one, that should uh, work for us. They're losing. So they're winning. Pretty much done. Gotta 
watch this because sometimes you'll suddenly find they're heading back towards their own fortifications for some reason. Not for some reason, but it's quite a good idea. So it drags my cavalry onto it, of course. John's almost gone. How's this going? Winning slightly. Okay, let's bring up some infantry. Jerry's gone. Let's use these guys, actually. That should be it. That should be the end of the Westphalians, I think. Oh, no, 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 don't chase. Oh, it's in the battle. They're about to go through the... Um, we only need them to be defeated. We don't need to destroy all the units, because it should be a... because it's a siege battle. It should be the end of them. There we go. Let's see who did what. Very good. Quite a lot of chevron stuff. Only one for the native warriors. I'm pu trying to push them into battles all the time. The Swiss Guard went up to six from four, which is amazing. And pretty much everything else is the same. It's pretty good. Not too much damage either, I think. To the army. To the um Okay, what can we do here? Don't have a lot of cash to be honest. I'd rather try and repair what I can of the army. Wow. Well, we can do. We can make a start. Um, I say we're not. I think in Europe now. We're at well, Russia. Is that correct? Let me just check. In Dagestan. Yeah. So it's only it's only Dagestan and Russia. Um, so we'll do our usual business of destroying their trade. Although we must have done that previously. That's completely destroyed. I say the Mughals are doing a good job on the Russians anyway. They've taken two of their territories already. This one and that one. I think the Mughals actually swapped with the Swedes. I think they swapped St. Petersburg or something. Or, I mean, uh, Riga, Estonia, Livonia. Okay, so that's basically done. That's the end of... Um, it's actually captured. Westphalia's gone. We just need to go through a little period of um, reconstruction. In Europe, that is, with our armies and just to get straight again. Uh, then I have to decide who we're going to attack next. We'll have a look at things diplomatically and decide on who we're going to push on in Europe. We've got a lot of armies here, it's silly not to use them. It's definitely the northern uh, countries we're going to take out now, maybe Hanover and Prussia. That would be logical. We'll have to see who they're allied with. Right, the, the more interesting stuff now is over in North America. Well, actually, we could have a fleet action, couldn't we, down here? Let's, let's have a fleet action. I haven't had one of those for ages. We've got five, uh, six rates here against this guy. Okay, so this should be over pretty quick. We're going to attack them. We're not going to alter as well because we'll lose too many ships. We'll probably kill two and lose three of ours or something stupid. So I'd like to try and capture these ships so that we can use them uh, for trading. And then we'll move to the North American theatre and sort that out. See what's going on. Um, I think what we're going to do is have two lines, I think, would be enough. Gotta be aware that they will actually run, of course. Once I've had the initial battle, the initial onslaught from us. Try to get as close as we can to the weather gauge, which means the wind's behind us so we can control the control the events. Like galley, I mean these these should not really be too much trouble for us at all. Need to zoom this way. And this way. Now we need to speed things up because you so you don't be saying this, but you don't really want to just see these ships heading towards these other guys. We can mix it up with them, I don't think we'll lose any ships. Straight forward, we can use our bow chasers. They're normally the longest range guns and the guns that are most accurate. 
the ship will put us bow chasers. Normally there's two, I think there's normally two, sometimes there were four on the larger ships. Let's take the speed off and then we can um, get control. We're going to pass either side. Detach one ship immediately to then go to windward, go towards the southwest. So I think that's where he's going to head. 26 guns, 27 guns. So, I mean, they're not, they're not anything to be sniffed at, to be honest, these guys. We're getting some, some hits now, I think. We'll immediately turn with this ship. In fact, I think I'm going to turn to windward now so we can get some hits on them. That was good. That was a very good side. Probably should have shown that stone, which is again. over very quickly. So we should have two more ships to try and um, take over all of the trading positions in Brazil. I think there might have been some Persians or something here. Not quite sure. We'll have a look. Speed things up. That gives us 340. Um. Okay, that's fine. Right, so that's that's helped us quite a bit. 1800 per turn. To look at how much these cost to actually maintain. It's a deceptive calculation because obviously once the trade goes into Europe, it then is multiplied and you get more more effects from it so it simply is not a straightforward upkeep cost as against the the amount of money that you're getting in getting 1800 so it's 100 there Maybe 800, 900, so we may be making twice as much money as we're, we're actually expending each turn. But it obviously, it's, as I've said, it's more than that because we're actually we're actually fine. We're doing, um, we get trade income as well, of course. Okay, I think over here we were just building an army up. Yeah, we've got the beginnings of a army already here. I think he's a young guy, which is good. We can develop him. 
over here. We've got to keep this army here because we, we can't move towards the Cherokees because we've got the Pueblo Nations attacking us. Oh yes, he did this, didn't he? Move this group down towards here, which we might find we've got problems with. I don't think we can do anything else here, to be honest. We might just have to take it. We might have to try and defend this um, place. It's got a fortress, and um, he's got some really good troops. Hmm, that's not that's not nice to look at, to be honest. We might lose that, that particular. I, I think that this is a glitch. I think this is here. This is units. They're not. You can't actually. When they're built, they kind of get attached to the building. That's not really the word, but but they seem to be glitched out. They can't actually be used. What we've got to watch for is what this army does. If it heads north, we could be in trouble. So we've got this army here. We're putting together a stack here with this group here, but we need to... I mean, there's a vast distance, so we've got a bit of time. He tries to move here. Yeah, we can maybe take out these two before he managed to get all the way to Fort de Chartres, but it's going to be it's going to be really difficult, actually. Okay, in the north, I think I said we're moving an army, this army here. Let's move around to here, so I think it's the end of the turn. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Probably this ship doesn't need to go up to the north now. We can move that back. Move that back to the fleet in the Bahamas if it will reach. Yeah, we just move that down there. Now we're at war with the Grand Columbia as well, but as you can see from the mini map, there really isn't a lot of territory that's going to cause us a problem now. Probably Grand Columbia and the Cherokees are going to be the most difficult people to sort out, I think, now. Uh, okay, let's end the turn. I really want to turn... So, oh, damn. I was just saying, I really want to turn where we don't actually fight anyone, but I suppose that's... If these don't join in, we're fine. Well, Russia's already at war, so it's the matter. Okay, well that that's fine because it's only Prussia. And they didn't seem to be in a very good position to take advantage of the situation. Socket bait it. I haven't got a socket bait it really. Okay, well. They're at war, I think. They're enemies of Knights of St. John. No, they're not. In neutral and protect it for Hanover. Interesting. No, we won't give that to them then. So we're now at war with Prussia. So that kind of decided things for us anyway. That will be the next um, territory that we'll try and take out. Ah, he's gone the other way. So this would be good. This would be a good, good thing to actually intercept, I think. Yes, I think we're going to. this could give us the advantage on that coast, the fact that he went north rather than south towards uh, Savannah, uh, towards Fort Augustus, is it? That means in, in Florida we're safe, but it also means we may be able to take out this territory here, which may speed up our general attack on the two territories inland, which would be excellent. Obviously, once we've captured most of this um, territory, we're relocating armies. We won't be spending a lot of time garrisoning it. Territory, really, with a big fleet and two or three armies, you can manage the whole of North America. Okay, so we've intercepted. So they have to come towards us. So the longer the distance, the better for them to walk, I'm talking about. The tired are they going to be? kind of view do they get? I always like to have a... Sure. Keep looking at the horseman at the moment. Let's try and keep clicking, clicking until we find someone who's um, 
that's perhaps that's not going to work for us. <laughs> we'll take that, take that off. I, I'm assuming. Let me try and get down so we can have a look and see. We're in a pretty good position here. Look at this artillery. Yeah, I mean that's excellent. Straightforward line. further down the hill, I think, to avoid friendly fire, and where the tree line is. I think that'll be fine. I'm actually going to put the general over here. Whoops, what are we doing? Still had the same, same group of troops. Put the general, just, uh, where should we put him? Just want to deploy up here. There we go. Hmm, cab's a bit of an issue. We're literally going to keep this in reserve. Maybe they can chase after them afterwards. Okay, let's go for it. Slightly out of range. It won't be for long. Oh gosh. Got some more guys coming over this flank. Let's run, because I think they're warrior society. Busking men. In fact, the artillery did a better job than me. It should be aiming for the Warrior Society, because that's a really good uh, group of troops. These guys are not doing so much to be honest, they're walking slowly. Should be able to get some hits on these guys. we can't chase after these guys and absolutely finish them, but we'll have to wait maybe a turn to do that. Again, we can probably swing forward a couple of units here. Give them in a crossfire. Yes. 
got a lot of warriors or something, but they're all going to pieces. So we've got two to one over here, so that should work out okay. They're winning decisively, that's interesting. Losing slightly. Right, so what we'll do. Throw some cab in. We don't really like cab. We're getting some pursuit going on, but not not a great deal, to be honest. So the artillery can hit these guys. Got a brigade coming up here. So things are done over this side. We can even catch these guys now, they're so close to the edge. Um, yeah, I think he's running away. Move this other brigade up. Just gonna fast forward. Feeling the artillery are gonna basically run out of range in a moment. Yeah, they just hit our own guys, damn. Oh no, that was there. That was there guys, that's fine. Right, so he's actually decided to stand now. Get those guys back. Where are those, where's the brigade that's backing them up? Where is it? Here we go. It's all done over here, basically. It's all finished. Uh, should we end the battle? We'll end it. Okay, good stuff. I'll look and see who killed who. Another chevron for that unit there. One to two for that one. What about native warriors? Did they not? I I've got a look in. I'm never able to do this, to be honest. Seems kind of glitch that it won't let you scroll down. It'll only show you a page. Oh, well, fair enough. We did okay. We did okay, basically. Ah, this is what I wanted. Not one unit, though. I wanted like 20 units to come along, a whole stack. Don't force me out. Right. Workers on strike in Saxony, but that should be, that'll correct itself pretty quickly because we'll do this. We'll replenish the rest of this army. You do wonder why the Prussians in decided to declare war on us, to be honest, because they don't seem to have very much. Um, Diplomatically, brought it war with Sweden, Mughal Empire, Ottoman Empire, Courland, Russia, and Hanover are their their allies. Let's destroy this port. I assume that he's stupidly repaired it. Oh no, he hasn't this time. He's obviously running out of cash. Right, we'll just have a look at um, what's going on: New Spain, Florida. France, we can see some of these Grenadiers, Cheval de la Garde, which are really good. It arrives. So the two ships are going to come and trade. 
Yeah, so he pretty much got control of his trade area. If ever we declare war on... Oh, has he actually moved? Oh no, Persia's still there. How many ships has he got? Quite a lot, but it's, it's not really... The Zbeck is going to be difficult to deal with. And a fifth rate, but we've got... I think we've got enough ships here to deal with the Persians if ever we need to. In this trade theatre and get complete control. Okay, that's fine. Structural port, mainly farms. Felix Rousseau is a dual master, that's a good, good attribute. Manchester, England. It's, it's a craft workshop. Four Seasons by Vivaldi. Okay, right. So our main enemy at the moment is... Prussia. This army is still replenishing. It took a lot of hits, actually. A lot. But it doesn't need any more than the money that's been spent on it. At some stage I'm looking at destroying the Knights of St. John. They'll be the next enemy in the... It's complicated by the fact they have Algiers. Next enemy in the Mediterranean, sorry. And, um... Yeah, what are we doing here? Yeah. This guy was definitely moving in to join this army here. Got a full stack. Again, we're replenishing. We really need another turn, to be honest. Before the Prussians attacked us. Um, they would have been in a fantastic position, to be honest, to just move on their, their forces. That may draw them out. We're going to wait for this this um, stack here to be up to strength, and then we're just going to move on to Brandenburg. See any? I really can't see that they have anything to trouble us at all, to be honest. But one stack in Berlin. They've got this little partial stack here. We need to move this army out to try and get it to here if we can. I'm wondering whether to shuffle down. We have damaged it. Perhaps we'll move, move here. We'll stay there for a moment. I'm a little bit worried about this army coming out and attacking Prague. We're fine in Vienna. We've got a, a really good army there. That's fine. If we build something there. They'll come out and raid it, no doubt. See, as far as I can see, the Prussians only have three territories. Oh no, they've got... Um, some more over here. So, not not good for them though. So I think that you've probably got, these guys are at peace with them. They probably haven't got access across the territory. The Poles. That's probably a revolution took that, I'm guessing. Probably a revolt. They probably destroyed the Poles and then the old Poles came back. Uh, we will repair this. We, we may need it at some stage, I don't know. I always am wary of this, uh, because I, I tend to recruit in one or two places, I've seen all my games. Um, there's a tendency for, for people, when I watch them play, to upgrade everything. And there's just no need for it. Um, okay, well we've got to move this army... Might move it to... Yeah. Let's just aim it for Prague. Um, it went to the Munich anyway, so that's fine. We would have gone to Munich I anyway. Goes. So two turns, so we should be there in time. And then we're in pretty good nick. We've got one, two, three, four armies to move on the Prussians. It's all a single front war, which is good again. We can move forward into Breslau and Silesia and Berlin, Königsberg. And move down here. Do we share a border with him? Oh, we do here so it's quite possible we lose this. Do a little bit of a garrison, we don't want it to fall to silly, silly numbers of troops. Discretion. He has nothing here to be honest. Okay so I think it's really time to um, look at North America. Still need to build up this army. 
one artillery at the moment. I think maybe we'll have one more. Eight infantry? No, probably more crab, I think. That's what we're going to do there. So we did a bit of raiding, this guy here. Ah, where did the army go? Down here, towards the coast. We'll keep our spy there. What we may do is leave this army here and bring these guys down. I think that's what we're going to do. In the ship. As you see, there's lots of upgrading we need to do around here to, us to try and get some money out of North America. Um, so two Sepoy regiments. I might need to ship them south, actually, rather than send them here. Cavalry is what they need here. Colonial light. So you can't you can't build good cavalry until really later in the game. I think I said that before in uh, North America. Okay, well let's put them aboard the ship anyway, because we know that they're definitely going to be going for a sea cruise. And where? I'm not quite sure. I think down here. What have we got here? We've got a single guy. These guys. Mm, very few guys left there. We can probably attack here, to be honest. See if we can do that. Oui, monsieur. Une ligne de bataille. Now again, I really do not want to auto resolve this because it will just you'll see the benefits of having like ninety to one. It will well I'm being ironic, we'll lose loads of guys if we do that. So we've got to assault. I know it's only a few units, but we've got to do it. I'll try and run it through fast. It's only a formality, four units against um, the army. <clears throat> and then we move the troops down from um, the north to reinforce this army, ready to move inland. Yeah, the Cherokee campaign is taking a lot longer than I thought. And I think it's because we had a false start, really. We tried to attack with armies that were fairly depleted on, on all fronts. And it didn't really work very well for us. I'm pushing this army, to be honest. It should really have a, a turn of recuperation. Again, he's not... He's not going to be in a very good position, to be honest. They should, in theory, all attack us from the same direction, but you just cannot tell, to be honest. Native warriors, so you can see, I think we see all their troops now. That one lying, they've now disappeared again, those guys, the musket men. Unfortunately, I've given them the hill, but they're, they're not going to be units that will sit and fire at us. These guys will, but these guys will not. In fact, these are the guys we need to hit with the artillery. Can we get up here? So I'd like to use these three units to chase them down and kill them off completely. Bravo, 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 bravo. 
Well, I want to turn these dies around so that you can get a bit of a crossfire on them, to be honest. Keep after them, basically. Uh, I think you've got a couple of units here, so we'll just, we'll just swing around. We really don't need the artillery, so we're going to nimble it up. Are the units still firing? really just volley fire that's doing it now. We, we've got so many chevrons on these units that we're really accurate. So they're not actually even managing to melee with us. They're coming towards us but they never reach our line. Okay, that's good stuff. So this, this army here, I'm not quite sure what this is. Has it been released now or it's obviously glitched and, and stuck in some way. I'm going to move this unit to here. That's the first thing we're going to do. Um, there's still some guys there. Although he's basically centralising his forces now here. So I'm running about just coming down this way. Bring his two armies up together, plus these troops here. What have we got here? We need to maybe swap some troops around because this will be where the trouble is going to be. We're going to form up an army to attack here. We're not going to wait. We're going to move on. It's a, a fairly dangerous army. It's in our depleted strength. I don't think he can reach. He's probably going to do some raiding, that guy. We'll kill off this guy. We'll do that next turn. Next episode, rather. Oui, monsieur. Something up here. Has this guy moved? He hasn't, has he yet? Let's move him round. Let's focus in. Whoops, perhaps not that far. Let's get to here. These guys can go ashore. Right, so that's fine. They should be able to reinforce each other. Yeah, I'm happy about that. We've got enough troops now, I think, to take out this guy. I think we've got the same problem here. We've got like two stacks, but it's kind of hidden by... by it's about something to do with the recruitment. When the AI recruits somehow, it, it causes a problem. And they actually stack on the same position. But anyway, next turn we'll be attacking here and finishing that off. George has been captured. That's good. Another good train as the fleet arrives. Well, we did that. Let's move down to here. Oh, we didn't manage so that, That's fine. Let's go back to North America where the fun is. I want to go out the balance of this army, to be honest. Five cav. It's probably about right, actually. Okay, so things are okay. What we're going to do is put together an army. Down here. 
I want to come on behind them if I can. Army! Alt! Now we're gonna. We're just gonna put some more cav in this, or like four cav in this army. Creep. Let's have a look. Right, so that's the four calves. So if we move this guy out towards uh, Annapolis, he'd be in the central position to take reinforcements from both sides. Move the ship back, pick them up. Here. Right, so they're kind of behind them now. Uh, let's get rid of that. Not worried about repairing this army at the moment. What I want to do is move some of these guys up who are really good. They're all pretty much light guys at the moment, light infantry. Apart from this guy, of course. We must take part in the battle. À gauche, marchez. D'autres ordres. Right. Some fairly weak units now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically try and get myself an army that's going to be in a better position to be aggressive. Some of these guys are going to move back towards um, Florida. Again, short of cab, aren't we? Very short. Right, so we could recruit mounted auxiliary here if we. So this guy has like no experience. Um, to do what to do. Let's have two and two. I think we need to in, we need to disband that regiment. Tenez-vous prêt? Yeah. And I think we'll move a militia unit up. Right, okay, I think we're okay. Um, any other units we can move out? Some of these units are very low now, now I've moved things around. Yeah, so we're going to move some of these guys out. They're simply, it's not worth risking them, they're in, they're in very poor condition. Definitely move those two guys down. Finish. Move that guy up. Put three guys up here, I think. Autre uh, chose. This guy can go. And we'll put these guys in. The only reason I'm pushing it this time is because. I don't believe there's an army close that can do a counter strike on us. We'll have at least one turn once we've finished off Napsuni Duta. These guys all need to be replenished. And I think we'll just queue up this battle and then we'll end the episode. Yeah, so again, I can't afford to auto resolve. Uh, we've got some heavy troops here. We've got this guy here who's pretty good. A lot of our units are in very good. Uh, see, even this militia, like it's 25, he's 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 got a lot of chevrons, a lot. These guys have very good accuracy. Bows, yeah, we should be fine. Okay, thanks for your time watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, very good as always. I always love playing this game, especially France. It's uh, it's becoming one of my favourite nations, I think. Um, in empire. And um, 
Even, even I'm mean, enjoying China it much better even than Britain, I think. I did Britain campaign a long time ago. And anyway, thanks for time watching. Take care. We'll be speaking to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.